Okay, guys, uh, before we watch the how to video, let me show you this. Antes de empezar el video de cómo se hizo esto, les voy a enseñar esto. This was very, very hard. It gave me a lot of problems. Me causó muchos problemas este proyecto. This was, all, was always cracking all the time. Esto siempre se, se, se quebraba. Uh, you know, así que no sé si le va a llegar al cliente bien. So I'm not sure if this will get in one piece, you know, arrive in one piece. So I'm really hoping it does. I'm going to do my best to uh, wrap it up the right way. But it, it's it's just fragile. Every little thing is just fragile. I don't know why. I, at least this one. No sé, está muy frágil esto, al menos este. I don't know what. Anyways, I tried to get cute, uh, adding a magnet to all this stuff. So that was a mistake. It was just a pain in the butt. Uh, quise ponerle un imán en vez de hacerlo como venía. Y eso fue un gran error. It took me forever to do this, off and on, of course. But uh, I, you know, I appreciate the patience of my client because this was really a bitch. I really, really thought I was going to give up on this guy. Um, but I kept going, so here it is. Uh, realmente pensé que uh, iba yo uh, ahora sí a doblar las manos en este proyecto, pero bueno, aquí está. So anyway, got the magnet in the back. El imán atrás. And then the hands and arms, I mean. And there you have it. Uh, okay, so let's check it out. Vamos a ver cómo se hizo esto. <clears throat> All right, guys, so we're going to work on this Iron Man, Spider Man. Vamos a trabajar en este hombre araña. And we're going to cut this out. Vamos a cortarle todo esto. Reason being, those, those legs that go attached to here are kind of a bitch to put on there. So I'm, I got a better idea, I hope. Tengo otra idea mejor para poner las patas que lleva aquí. So let's cut this guy out. I do want to say though is that a lot of clips that I recorded did not come out. So I apologize for that. So there's a lot of parts missing on how I painted the body. Uh, quiero disculparme porque uh, ciertas partes que grabé uh, no salieron uh, como pintando el cuerpo. Así que disculpen. All right, so since we are going to add a magnet on here so you can use it to hold them on the, uh, the legs, como vamos a ponerle un imán aquí, this is hollow, so we need to fill this up. Tenemos que llenar esto uh, ya que está hueco para poder poner el imán. I covered the holes here. Um, le tapé los agujeros. And what we're going to use, lo que vamos a usar, es foamet number five, número cinco de este esponja. You want to do equal amounts, partes iguales. I don't need to fill the whole thing. No necesito llenar todo. The important thing is this area right in here. Importante es esta área. It's starting to foam up. Ya se está este, esponjando. All right, so now that's been about maybe two and a half minutes. Ya lleva como dos minutos y medio, maybe three. Y ahí está. So nice and foamed up. I'm going to add these magnets, and uh, I think these are nice and powerful. Ojalá sean bastante poderosos. If not, I'll just have to start fresh, but we'll see. Vamos a ver. All right, we're going to do some five minute epoxy, cinco minutos de pegamento. And 
and now we're going to use the epoxy equal amounts partes iguales Okay, so, so it doesn't get stuck, but can also peg it. The interesting part is going to see if I'll be able to pry this open. We will see. Está interesante para ver si va a poder separarlo. All right, prying it open was kind of hard. Uh, sacarlo sí está bastante difícil uh, because of the uh, real uh, the, the magnet is powerful. I already added one of the uh, legs. Ya le aumenté una de las piernas. Um, I'll show how I did it with the other legs, but I just needed to do this to get the support. But as you can see, como pueden ver ya ahorita, ya que puse una pierna, ya luego enseño cómo poner las otras. It's nice and powerful. So that will hold them. And of course, with this one, para sacarlo, you pull this way. Hopefully, I have more support with the other legs. Uh, okay, so, vamos a poner las otras piernas. Let's get the other legs in here. It's the same way I did this one. El mismo modo de como puse este. So we have to calculate. This actually is pretty complicated kit. Este realmente es un kit muy complicado. Maybe I kind of, you know, made it even harder on myself by adding the magnet. But I thought that was kind of interesting. Tal vez lo hice más difícil para mí hacer este, este, esta armadura poniéndole el imán, pero creo que va a estar interesante. All right, so now, of course, I can't put that in there. I have to cut these out. So, so far, so good. Por el momento se ve bien. Now we'll have to test it because we, whoa. All right, that was cool. All right, make sure. Okay, so that's holding a bit. Ya está deteniendo un poco. We just mixed up a little bit of the epoxy. <clears throat> un poco de esto, equal amounts. And for the meantime, we're just going to reinforce this. Then we'll worry about fixing this up to look a little better when it goes inside the uh, back there. Allá luego nos preocupamos que se vea un poco mejor esto. <clears throat> Pero por el momento hay que ponerle para reinforzarlo. All right, guys, this is taking forever. Esto está tardando demasiado, but oh, well, I'm just coming up with ideas. Uh, these arms, estos brazos, very hard to put on and then paint because, I mean, look at this thing. Muy difícil tener estos fijos y luego pintar. So obviously, everybody paints this first and then they put the arms on and then they seam it. Normalmente, me imagino, pintan todo esto primero, luego le ponen los brazos y le... Y le uh, uh, arreglan. La what I'm going to try to do is uh, put a magnet in here. Hopefully it's powerful enough. So that way it can just snap in and uh, use a, a putty so the seam isn't as noticeable. Uh, voy a usar este epoxy para hacer un, que no se vea tan grave la, la raya, pero ponerle un imán. Así es, lo pinto, se pinta esto 
and then y luego nomás se, se arregla así. Ah, vamos a ver si resulta. We'll see if it works. Okay, looks like it's going to work. Se ve como que así va a resultar. Okay, I'm trying, uh, I'm trying out this uh, pinstripe uh, tape. Estoy tratando de usar este uh, tape, como se dice. Para tapar en vez del silly putty, instead of the silly putty, just to see if I can get cleaner edges but it's taking forever nomás para ver si agarro este, unas líneas más finas aunque está tardando un chingo esto ok so for right now I'm just going to do the top part and the back then when that's dry I'll do the legs primero voy a hacer lo de arriba y ya cuando eso se seque voy a hacer uh, lo de abajo las, pi la, las piernas ok and what I'm going to use uh, which is a gold I kind of like so we'll try it out again it is metallic gold. This es lo que voy a usar, el oro. And I'm going to spray this into here. Lo voy a sprayar aquí y lo voy a ponerlo en, en el airbrush, en el aerográfico. El aerográfico. Alright guys, so here he is, finally, aquí está después de tanto tiempo. Anyway, alright guys. Hope you learned something. Espero que hayan aprendido algo. Hasta la próxima. Hasta next time.